I'm WRAL meteorologist Kat Campbell, joined with NASA Ambassador Tony Rice. Tony, thank you so much for being here today. We've got something fun to talk about. It's not a guarantee by any means, but when we think back to May, many of us were able to see the Northern Lights. You think of that as almost a once in a lifetime opportunity, but it's not out of the question we could see it again tonight. It's not. We've got another coronal mass ejection heading our way, and that's a uh, an explosion, a, a big output of charged particles that are coming off the surface of the sun. We've been seeing a lot more of these lately because the sun's going through, uh, uh, we're approaching solar maximum time with lots of activity on the sun. So what's happening is, and it just, just hit us as you and I walked into the newsroom today, that coronal mass ejection has reached us and it's sending all these particles into the atmosphere. So tonight we have the opportunity possibly to see some aurora. And you know, it's almost, it's nothing like a hurricane, but in a similar sense, the Space Weather Prediction Center rates these geomagnetic magnetic storms on a scale from one to five, kind of like you do with hurricanes, with five being the strongest. So tell us about tonight's forecast and what it was like when we were able to see the aurora back in May. So tonight we're expecting about a G4. Uh, there is a possibility that it can increase to a G5, and that's what we saw back in May. Um, listening to the forecasters last night as they were talking through this, they put it at about a 25% chance of hitting that G5 that would you know, really bring that aurora higher in the atmosphere and be able to see a lot more color. So we'll know tonight, once the sun goes down, what it's actually going to look like. And we get this new information in, you know, about every 15 minutes, we're getting an update on kind of what scale we are on this. So we'll be looking through that all evening. We'll let folks know, send out push notifications if it is visible. Luckily, the weather looks great tonight. We're not expecting any cloud cover, a little on the cool side. But can you tell us what time would be the best shot if it were to happen? So darkness is what's important here. So 45 minutes to an hour after sunset okay. uh, is going to be the, the best bet. You're going to want to look towards the north. These are the northern lights, after all. Uh, and if we do get that G4 uh, come about, you're going to want to look lower on the horizon. And this is going to appear like a, a green or a red hue uh, to the horizon. If it does outperform and we do get that G5, uh, you're going to want to look a little bit higher, and we might see some ribbons of color and things like that. Uh, also have your camera phone uh, ready because it's going to be able to see it a lot better than we can with the naked eye. Absolutely. And, you know, so many people were able to see the one in May. A lot of people that live in our larger cities like Raleigh and Durham didn't have the luck that their neighbors who live in a more rural area do. Do you have any suggested places, if this pans out, and it's one of the big ones for us, that you would recommend driving to to maybe get the best view? Yeah, darkness is what you're looking for. The, the light pollution is uh, is what's going to cause the, the problems. Anywhere where you've got city lights to your back to the south is going to be great. So um, north of Raleigh is not even going to work because we're going to have Durham uh, in the way. North of Durham, uh, some of those lakes that we beautiful lakes we got up there, probably a really great place to see something like this. Absolutely. Well, fingers crossed for tonight. We will be watching closely. We will be in contact all throughout <laughs> the night about this like we were last time. We'll post updates. We'll have updates on our newscast as well. The sun sets about 645. So, you know, about 45 minutes after that would be 730 to 745 would be the earliest. So we'll be on the lookout tonight. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for having me.